All right, folks, well, where do I start? We got a pretty cool looking Jagstang, I think. I think that's what it is, or Jagmaster. Two humbuckers, two controls, three-way switch, Squire, Jagmaster Standard. Pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. I think it's 2000. Sparkly. That's a factory paint job. Crafted in China. Squirific. Now, it's getting a Demarzio something or other with that part pointed toward the neck as asked for by the owner. Now, we got a problem though. All right. I think it becomes pretty obvious what the problem is when you look at it this way. You can, I mean, you can see it from here. But let's see if I can shift the focus down that way. You can clearly see it has a goes this way. The last guy to set it up professionally at one of the local music shops. Yeah, that's the worst of it there. Oh, and the worst problem is the truss rod is completely stripped. Let's see if I can show you that. I don't know how good you can see there, but uh, that's pretty stripped out. And it's way bigger than a five millimeter or a four millimeter that it would normally, you'd normally think this would be. Anyway. Let's put it back down and get the strings off it. All right, so this guitar is like, as soon as I looked at it, I could tell that the neck was, was a bit twisted. And as you can see there, didn't seem to be as bad yesterday when I was playing it. I don't know. As you can see there, the, the buzzing is pretty bad throughout the, the G string. Ha ha ha, the G string. And I would, I've just, to, I've just told them to try and find a new neck. There's really no, there's really no repairing this neck. So he's gonna see if he can hunt down a replacement neck for this guitar. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna clean it up some, install the new pickup since it's still sort of semi-usable. And if he finds a new neck, we'll put a new neck on it, and if not, I guess it'll just stay this way. Because there's not a lot of fret left there either for to try to level the twist out of there, but I'll show you. I can't even straighten the neck. Since the truss rod doesn't seem to work. Got me an exciting new thing yesterday. Brand new garbage you can. It even had a lid, but I thought mm, the lid's gonna be a pain in the pain in the pain in the pooper. Well that sort of lines up. Yeah, this thing has a trim system too. But I don't think he's using it. 
Look at all that. Craptastic. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Well, that's not this stuff. Let's get some more. <laughs> Fast. All right, well, I don't know how I managed to get it going, but this truss rod, and I'm using a five millimeter wrench, and it's pretty wallered out. Is way over tightened. So I'm just trying to straighten it out. And it's come back far away. Oh, we're nearly there. Another slight turn, and I think we're going to call that done. Yeah, this was just way over tightened by somebody. I don't know what the F. And that could, hopefully this straightens it out. Yeah, it's not looking near as bad. It was really bad back. Wants a little bit more. A little tiny bit more. Come on, bubby. Oh no, I'm not using. I'm using 316s. 316s is what grabbed. I think that'll do it. And then hopefully the tension of the strings. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see what it does. better. It's better, it's better, it's better. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. We've got a not working guitar. Oh yeah, this is all self-contained. Except this ground wires. Not attached. Okay. Well that's interesting. So I can work on it all out of here. Super. Alright, let's get this thing apart. <clears throat> Just had to spend the last few minutes in, uh, looking inside my spare parts there for a couple of screws that would fit that new pickup. A little tip when you're buying a used pickup, make sure it comes with springs and screws. Because the old screw diameter for your old pickup might not be the same as the new one. 
fact, I remember one of the very first videos I did on YouTube doing a swap. I had that happen to me. And I ended up having to swap out the base on the old pickup for the base on to the base onto the new pickup because I didn't have. So those that's the diameter of old screw, new screw. And I could just tell by looking at the holes they were a lot bigger. Alright. So this is really easy. This is connected to a Gibson style three-way switch. Just heat that up. Oh, hopefully. Uh, tie it on there. There we go. Okay, there goes the old Bicoop. I am not going to have enough room. No, I'm not. Here's what I'm gonna do. Gonna connect the wires that need connecting. I believe we have a ground connection there. Okay, now these two, they can just get soldered together. Green and white. He said he wants that facing that way. I don't know. If that... It's in. Now, just need to connect the hot and ground. I'll just connect hot on this side of the switch. Alright, I don't know why this has been removed, but the ground to the claw has been removed. Good enough. All right, we got a ground cable. Yay! Woohoo! I am just gonna go ahead and solder that straight into that little good solid core and everything. Spray a little contact cleaner in there. A little bit in there, a little bit all over that. Spin it around. So I'm just finishing the polish on this turd here, and I noticed that this is all extremely loose. This is all just, as usual, falling off, but these are loose too. So these need to be tightened too. Just falling apart. Well, straightening out the neck has created a huge neck, huge 
action problem. 